of Dubai, the Cypher. Rossi not able to find the angle, was too concerned about tiles. Something will pick that up. And now, T1, too many angles to cover, and Paper X is going to use that to their advantage. Grouping up. Back of sight, going through all together at once. We do have Wingman back available, but the double oh! swing, and Saya just holds left click with the frenzy. And the C's not catching anybody, but there comes the blind here for something, not able to catch Vision, and Saya player will wrap it up with a triple kill pistol, goes to T1. Online, he has to back out of it. The decoy being sent first forward. And Saya, does he clear all the way to Boba? He wants to send it off right at the end, won't find a kill just yet. There we go, a big retake. A good seize though. Oh, and look at that blindside coming in. Sets up Saya for another double. He goes for a triple once again. Three rounds in a row. Three triples for Saya player. Full stack, but it's not going to be this round. With the rifles, they still want to play. But it was deep on Saya. Just on point. Swings out, gets the opening kill. Sure, it's a trade, but all that cyber utility once again shut down. The decoy drawing a lot of attention to last for Izu to get the kill. Nightfall to check if anyone has refilled the site. Nobody there just yet. Something looking for an opportunity, but there's a seize. And the safe fight. He has to find a way out, but he's tethered right in the middle of it. Dies to the utility. And T1 shutting down the show. Okay. Somebody comes through. Mind freak. Opens it up, and there is finally. Here we go. Fast hit. Oh, and it's going to be on both sides. Dimensional Drift catches two in the middle of it. They're just setting up for this showstopper. It's coming around, not going to find the kill just yet, but Rossi picks it up instantly, and they just swarm the site. Izu pops out of his own ultimate as well yeah. to catch Mind Freak from behind, and the site broken open, and this was the timing they were waiting for. They focused so heavily on B the previous rounds. Fast hit onto A, Jing. Trying to stabilize here. Carpe very low. There is a chance. There's that neural theft. Rex, they have to win these fights, but look at how spread out T1 is, and they have no intention of grouping up once again, changing their locations after the second ping. Save playing here, and Jing might be in trouble. Hiding behind the wall, do they suspect it? Carpe has an idea, he's trying to be the bait here. Excura, can he get the swing? No, it's still Jing himself. Four kills, you gotta respect them. They're even, even able to keep the Viper's pit for Rossi. Oh. Now it's another spot. He's just in trouble. Has to use all this yeah. utility. But I mean, the paranoia use does buy him time to shadow step back out, but now they've cleared it. They follow him through onto the site as well. Sia player has a decent idea. Isu is going to win that 1v1 as he crouches down oh on God. the spray. Something quick on the flank. If he can find a timing, if he can take out Excurit, that might give Paper Rex a chance. But otherwise, even with the no command, it looks a little bit tough. Excurit, does he have the game sense to figure this out? No, it's just going to be Dubai and Jing swinging out for the kills. That leaves something available to go into elbow. He'll find the angle onto Rossi. That'd be concerned. Gecko and KO arise on the scene. Two flash drives available. There's the Dizzy. Gets one spot, oh, and now they go below. Jinx still above. They haven't spotted. He finally drops, ready to pitch onto the pit. Excurit just stuck here, trying to swing out, only able to get one kill. Idea that it's still a bit of a hold, but here comes the nightfall. Jink will get spotted. He has to back out. So does Dubai. Meanwhile, Forsaken refilling market right now. Something wins the fight a bit, and that suddenly makes the potential retake so much stronger as Jink swings in for a triple kill. He made alive. No one from Paper Rex here to bite on the target. Things have slowed down. Hit it on the clock. Let it pass by something. Gets double. Buy one, get one free, and there's the triple for the bonus. Something ties it up. One, maybe two, and they decide just to back out. They don't want to deal with it for seconds here just to buy time with the flash drive on the swing. Can't get the kill. Meanwhile, Mind Freak pushes back out towards the back of sight as well. Paper Rex buying so much time. Prowler comes in, only tags one. There's the flash, but as he comes off of it, Jink finds one, and it's a bloodbath as the buy is able to clean house from behind. Excurit still keeping the dream alive with so little time. He has to stick the defuse. He gets one kill onto Forsaken. He's not going to have time. Can he at least get the kill? He will will find it onto Dubai, and that is the round going over to Paper Rex. Nobody's in a position, even over on A, to really get punished by it, hopefully. And uh, Dubai going on a fishing trip. Finds one, not able to connect to the second. Rossi gets the spray, puts on the aim punch, and the retake will commence here. Dizzy taken down with the Sheriff, and Jing finally finds the target, but it takes too long, allows for Carpe to go around on the site and take another kill out. Something now trapped the snake bite under his feet. He's taken so much damage already. Here comes a double swing. Excurit gets the kill initially, but they are short on time. They have to stick this. They have to at least get the half. Mind Freak not able to find the target just yet. He finds one, but it is not the diffuser. And T1 will take the round back.
Ooh, about as close as it gets. Playing. He pushed up on most angles. Even Carp angle. Oh, oh he does God. get spotted. Not able to spray through the box itself. Devai has crept up close. It's going to be hard to read. Devai gets the read on the double setup. Right, left, one, two, punch. Mind Freak with the cleanup in mid. And Paper Rex left. left. Gets spotted because of it. Izu. And Devai gets him. Nice, nice pick up at the very least here. 4-T1. But on the other side, Mind Freak hunting. Cut sound. Let's see if he can get it. Not quite aware of each other, and Mind Freak spots the elbow of Izu first. Press off the timeout, they just completely flip the book, and they go for a pinch onto Boba. Here comes the Null Command. Jing loses the first the fight, and that opens up a little bit of breathing room for T1, but Rossi has to ultra X Cure and comes oh, back from Boba. Gets two, but now the res available for the KO, and it's going to be a Phantom and an Operator. Both ultimates online, but can they find the right utility for it? It's gonna be a tough choice. Izu, curious to see if he swaps to a rifle, just holding this angle, waiting for Carpe to draw some attention. For one, he gets it, ready for the second. He tries to swing out, can't find the kill, but here comes the Nightfall. Izu goes for the blind side. Can he get the swing out? He's got to go for the Dimensional Drift. There's the kill on Divai. And now, just Mind Freak against this Yoru in the other dimension. The decoy swings out. Here's the steps, but he shoots it. Mind Freak spotted. Operator. Still in the hands of Izu. There's the blind side. He wants to chase in for the kill, but he's been flashed as well. Just one step too quick on the chase. He lines. And Paper X, they kind of have their choice here. They know that Carpe was in the site. They've already identified that the fragment forces him out. The toxic screen comes back up, but Carpe just can't find his target. Here comes Wingman. He just wants one kill, and he won't find a single one. The Bulldog doing some work for Izu as he gets a double. But now, just Rossi, six clutches against Team Liquid, but it won't happen tonight Attackers as Paper win. Rex overcome all odds, down six to one in the first half. And they, right, they usually used to be much more prepared to pinch onto that C mount, but this time they have the double setup waiting for the push, potentially hot to be made. Nah. The sheriffs continue for T1, whatever they are serving in that cafeteria, it's been good for him as Izu gets another headshot with the ghost as well. Only two members left for Paper Rex. Oh boy. Well, may start kind of like it did on Sunset here for Paper Rex. Just going to send the Trailblazer out, do a little exploring. But, I mean, this is Mind tricky. Freak. Oh, the jump okay. peak from Carpe, oh, and Izu will get that trade as they wanted. And T1, four members left alive. Oh, they have the weapons advantage, so they will go in as all five. Can Izu find a cheeky kill here? He swings out on the pop flash. They're not suspecting that, so he is able to get one on the back. Can he get two? He gets it. The comms don't come through in time. And Izu might have just found the one opening to take this round back. And it it's either Carpe or Rossi, somebody on the back side there. Saya gonna hit the headshot. Gets the headshot right through the wall as well. So while he is trapped, this is time for Excurit to try to catch up. Doesn't find him up on heaven, knows he's dropped down. He gets oh! the double onto something and Devai. Yeah, all piled on together towards Waterfall. They heard the showstopper going off towards the spa, but something's here with the operator. Now they've spotted Ooh. a Saya just knows how to combat that back, but Devai there for the trade as well. You always have to remember, there's going to be someone else waiting when it's Paper Rex. He's good for three on the site as he takes down Rossi, and this operator has to be saved. But my side player is there for the cross. So just looking for the easy kill, easy pickings. Excurit loses control of Waterfall though. That allows Forsaken to start to go for the wraparound. And Rossi getting set up with an Odin, trying to do something special. Forsaken, so good, gets three. Izu and Carpe both going down, the Neural Theft not going to be needed as the fourth walks into his crosshairs. Saya player spotted. Paper Rex, are they going to be giving over this ace? No, Devai says, I want to get home early. Six to two lead. And rendezvous online. Of course, the back of the site, the Seeker's coming. He tries to get a pierce through, trying to greet for one more kill, but he will jump back to safety. He's been tagged, but have they spotted Carpe? Can he get the trade for him? Mine yet will get the kill, but Carpe still defending the back site. This player player's got that showstopper. Could be a tough defense here for Paper Rex. They're trying to the Odin. Out. Yeah, yeah, the Odin, man. This is going to make things really nasty. Trying to see if the spam comes through. Doesn't find it. You see the spike right there, and there it is. The swing out. The showstopper is One let loose. Izu shuts down the Odin as well. It's all down to Mind Freak. As ice cold as he is, it's too many members. Saya player stops the lead. Taking these backwards positions. 
And so T1 has to win the Rumble fight if they want any information. Saya gets wet, he gets two! Back and form the flash is good, but he can't find the target! The movement! Just too much coming out for Mon Yen! Oh, and he Yen. continues to rampage as he Whoa! dashes forward! Reclaims control! Insane. I mean, oh, that's good. That's just shades of Jing right there for Mon Yen. But now a 1v2 up in hand. Spike planted. They gotta know. They Here's gotta hide. So blazer. smart. Just trying to jump forward, but the trap wire oh, stops him in his tracks. <laughs> this, I mean, double, <laughs> triple, triple Odin. Odin. Triple Odin. Just covering all angles. Now, in some way, T1 was aware of this, but oh, something winning the off battle once again. And now it's the showstopper to shut down. It's actually going to be the Blazer picking up the kill right before it. He can clear the smoke. Look at the oh awareness. And he gets tagged, and something the shorty in and showcasing One everything that remaining. Paper X has to offer ahead of 2024. Izu fighting for just one more round, but the shorty has been reloaded, trying to bait out some shots, and there's the pop flash, and oh, Izu, okay, left. we'll shut it down, something. Getting a bit over eager, but he knows they have the numbers advantage. Now Spike finally going down. Spike planted. They have to focus on the round. Win and Mind Freak doesn't take any chances. Nine to three half the time. Yeah, like no matter what side of the coin they're on. Well, it all has to start with Excura trying to find his opening kill and something shuts him down. Even peeks out for a second. Will escape with his life off of that cloud burst. Now that gives signal to Magnet on the other side alongside Divide. Oh, he tagged him up. Yeah, to creep up onto Mound. You're right, Carpet, very weak. Now, of course, Paper Careful. X doesn't have that information. But they've already cleared out C-Mound. You've got Monyet holding that at long range. You still see members here at Rubble. No reason to shift their positions. Even checking for a Lurk and a potential B push with yep. the Trailblazer early on. Devai on point with the utility. I'd like to see him play for Baby Door maybe here. But yeah, Mind Freak just going to try to cut this angle off. Something just spraying through. What? Finds a third. How does he just swing around just trying to check for all possibilities? Rossi playing for his life in the smoke. And something gets the ace. All headshots with the ghosts. Good space taken by T1 here. Vi is going to try to put some work in with his Bulldog, but he's quickly shut yeah, down. Izu even got two. Down. Too many people picks up the Bulldog for himself for Izu, and there's the double once again. Izu on for the triple. Excurit finds information. He's just going to draw out time. They got to find Mind Freak if Izu eventually going down. Saya and Rossi so low on the site, they could just get sprayed down. But Saya correctly playing for time. Excurit wins the duel on the other side. Now these two members on the site just waiting for Excurit. Paranoia is going to be big as the Cosmic Divide comes out. There's the Paranoia. One gets dead, but he can't find the kill oh for Zika. Drops the spike. Only 30 seconds, but he's still alive. Gets Rossi as well. T1 not able to enter the site just yet for Zika. Holding it like a fortress. The Saya player goes down. The Cosmic Divide not finding any value. Izu not able to get the Lurk as something is defending the spawn. And Excurit, he has to save this off. Can he run away from Monyet? Monyet will get the showstopper no matter what, so he has nothing to lose. But for Sacred wants to kill, Excurit says, Welcome, little brother. Oh, he says, Welcome, Mind Freak. Can he find one more? As the clock ticks down, round, of course, already gone over to Paper X. Something, oh, something comes around. We're on the map. They want to try to commit to this, but it might be too risky. Another pop flash back out. Everybody gets caught. And Saya answers back blind for the double headshot. Monyet evening the number three to three. Audio, something is ready for it. We've seen what he can do. He's always gonna go for at least one extra peek and he's trying oh to get the God. swivel down to the bottom. Rossi gets the read from behind as well. A one for one trade. Spike still in the hands of Rossi. If he can get the plant, the pit will come up and that should give them an advantageous left. chance. Mind Spike free trying to the find timing. the timing and he gets the pit down. Izu has to fight alone. 26 HP, and it will be Mind Freak once again. The closing act for Paper Rex as they take a dominating Lotus 13 5.